<laughs> what are you doing here, T? It's out promoting the revolution, spreading it in New Hampshire. It's key state. You took one for the team. Took one for the team. Uh, it wasn't too bad, but I had guts coming out of my fingers, so I'd never seen that before. So Ernie, Dr. Ernie, uh, got out the scissors, cut out the chunks that were uh, seeping through so we could close the wound back up, super glued it, and we're all good. Let's just hope the infection didn't have a chance to go up to my elbow and it doesn't turn black tomorrow, so we'll see. It's a nice part about the Revolution Medical Plan is that you don't have to wait in the emergency room for hours to exactly. get immediate attention. We got it taken care of right there. <laughs> right there. Disinfected it, cleaned it up, and glued it back together. <laughs> It's all for my daughter. She's five years old. There's... What else can I do? So what are you doing here, Mike? I'm just here to spread the word about Ron Paul in New Hampshire. So what does that mean? That means, well, basically I just want everyone to know about him. I want everyone to, to know what he's actually saying, you know, and, and uh, what his views actually are. Because I think when people hear that, they're going to listen, they're going to realize that that's what we need for America. So I figured I'd try to do my part. I heard about Ron Paul and uh, stands for everything I'm for. There's a couple issues maybe that I, I would disagree with him about, but uh, you know he's not going to be corrupt or evil or you know, just looking at his voting record, you don't have to worry about um, like what Bush campaigns for and then changes his mind. And You know, even I don't believe on, like say, his abortion issue, which I'm still kind of, I don't know really what I feel on that issue. It doesn't really matter because that's not the biggest biggest issue that's going on right now. Economic problems, which I, I see firsthand when I was working in the the mortgage, you know, the mortgage field, that's kind of a huge issue to me. So I want to make sure that they always say that you're supposed to be better off than your parents were, and I don't think that's going to happen if we keep on the same course. So honestly, I think the main issue was abortion because I think that. And that's always been a big issue for me because I, I believe, as Dr. Paul does, that we cannot really, you know, uh, look for liberty for everyone unless we, you know, we protect life for everyone. You know, it, it's we can't we can't try to be free without protecting the freedom of everyone. And so that that's why it, that's a big issue for me. And of course, there are other candidates who say they are pro-life, but uh, Ron Paul's actually been doing something about it. He's got the Sanctity of Human Life Act, which he uh, introduced in 2005, and I think again in 2007. And he's also approaching it from that point of view, whereas other the people, other people who are approaching it, just like seem to miss the point, and you know, or they might have the right point themselves, but they're not presenting it in that way. They're just saying, "Oh, it's wrong. You shouldn't do it because it's wrong." You know, and I don't think that's the right way to put it. I think it's the, the way to put it is the way Ron Paul's putting it. You know, this is a human life. The government, the one, one of the few duties of the federal government is to protect human life, and that's why we need to do something about this. That's why we need to reverse the versus Wade. Well, I'm concerned that like we're going if we don't correct our economy and our spending and deficits keep going out of control and our economy becomes more and more unstable that 
in five, ten years from now, it's going to collapse and I won't be able to support my family or get a job or buy a house or have the money or the finances because our money will be wor worthless and I won't have any, uh, I don't know, value in it and I'll just kind of go down with the system and I don't want that to happen. So. Ron Paul gives me hope and his message is very powerful. He's working on getting himself some heat here. We oh. don't want to die. We don't want to die. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Looks like he's working on burning down the house, actually. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh... Came to Lebanon, uh, New Hampshire today, not realizing that John Edward was going to be in town. So we're in enemy territory, and these babies are going on all the car windows. Show them how many cars are around here, Brock. They're everywhere. It's a gold mine. Let's get to work, boys. Yeah. Oh yeah. We both, if we both weren't men here, I, I don't know. I might have to French kiss you on that issue. <laughs> you had me at hello. Oh, God. Tell him he had you at a hello. You had me at hello, Dr. Paul. <laughs> okay. I came out here to have fun. Just do something new, campaign for Ron Paul. Have fun? Yeah, like set off fireworks and yes. stuff like that. Wait a second, have fun? Have fun, man. This is fun. Ooh. <laughs> this is an echo. Yeah. You know, I think we're done. Yeah. <laughs>